I don't always use the loft tool, but when I do, it's awesome. So let's start with uh, starting a new sketch and clicking the plane you want to start on and drawing a rectangle 2.5 by 1.5. And then we're going to want to finish that sketch and do an extrusion. And I like to change the direction of it and put 1.5 for the extrusion. And now we want to start a new sketch on this front surface and project the geometry. Hit project geometry, click that, and then we need to grab the rectangle. For the loft tool, we need to kind of trace over that projected geometry in this case because we want it to be the exact same size. So that just makes it easy. We can trace over it, grab a line tool, and make like a little V going down, and then get your dimension. Click on that point, dimension point to your bottom line. And then also grab your dimension and go point to point or point to corner. Type in your correct dimensions. And then on the top right side of this, we're going to dimension from point to corner. But instead of typing anything, we'll just hit equals and then go to the left side and click on the one we just did. Use your equal constraints and hit both of those diagonal lines and then um, finish your sketch and do a very similar thing on the back side or the opposite side so start a new sketch and then project the geometry and then take your rectangle and um, draw over it just trace over it and then use the line tool to draw it draw a line diagonal down and back up and I like to exaggerate and uh, avoid the um, dimensions we have on the other side so add that dimension and then we want a dimension remember do point to corner and then just hit the equal sign because we want those to be the same and then use the equal constraints because we want the diagonal lines to be the same and then grab your dimension hit the bottom and the uh, bottom line and type in the correct dimension there finish your sketch So now we're going to do the loft tool. So you'll find that um, underneath one of the extrusions and you want to first click on the sketch and then the area that you want to loft. And so that's the place where a lot of people forget. Uh, you want to spin it around and then click on that add. Again hitting your sketch and the surface you want to and sometimes this is a little difficult. So move your mouse around and find it and we want to intersect so we're going to click here and OK and this is what we want it to look like good job make sure you save your work as loft and your initials and then turn it in good job thanks